Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from CB's Paranormal Society, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom texture pack for Minecraft 1.2.5, and really this will work on any Minecraft. Um, I don't know if they'll change in an update. They shouldn't, but I... It should work for everyone if you're back in alpha still it'll still work So basically what you're gonna want to have is you're gonna want to download uh, GIMP2 it's a painting software and you're also going to need to make your own file And I will show you the things you have to put in there You're gonna go to run percent app data percent and then you're gonna open up your bin in your Minecraft Which I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do that So I'm not gonna go too in depth about this because I'm trying to get this a little quick going here so you're gonna want to drag over the achievement armor art environment GUI item m miscellaneous which is misc mob terrain title and you're gonna want to scroll down in this one and you're gonna look for the pack uh, PNG file you're gonna also look for the pack one right below it it's gonna be like a readme document sort of and then it's it's a class file, it's a text document. And then you're gonna want to look for particles.png, and you want to look for terrain.png. And you're done with that then, so you don't need any of that open anymore. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go in one of them. Say you want the items. Now I've already updated this a little bit. I've made custom packs. So I'll show you how to make a custom pack right now. You're gonna want to open GIMP. I'm gonna call it GIMP for now and that always happens to for me for some reason you're gonna open it here and then what you're going to do is you're going to click new and it's gonna open a new one you wanna go it's gonna come up with this right here uh, it's gonna say all this stuff you go to advanced options background color it needs to be transparent uh, none of this really matters right here but you're gonna want to make this 256 and the bottom one 256 it's gonna be 256 pixels by 256 pixels and click OK and it's gonna bring this up here and you're going to want to not click on it you're gonna drag it over here and then it's gonna come up like this and that is a hundred percent right there so what you're going to want to do in GIMP if you don't know how to use it yet you're gonna go to tools right here you're gonna click on new toolbox and this is gonna pop up I like to expand it so everything's just right there so what you're gonna do now is you're going to want to go in the magnifying glass you're going to want to magnify this as much as you can as you can see I already turned all the diamond to red including the diamond over here I also changed the um, redstone to bluestone and it doesn't change the name by the way it just changed what it looks like and I've also changed what the sea looks like so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on this iron sword right here and we're gonna customize it first off I'll show you this this is a new diamond sword because I've changed diamond to red and this is my new gold sword so basically what we're gonna do is to customize it you're gonna go here you're gonna double click this and you're gonna make sure you have all this size is going to be one and then you just click out of that now you're going to want to click into it and you can uh, click your color you can find the right color and everything for it so <laughs> alright edit undo paintbrush undo paintbrush alright no that was too big for some reason so we're going to because uh, it's 100% so we're going to go one <laughs> alright first off you're going to change it to this little pixel change it to one now it's small and uh, I made that mistake there so I'll go over that again you're gonna make it so it's a little pixel the first one there you're gonna change the size all the way to down to one and then basically you can make the sword whatever you look like you can add on to it but it needs to be within a certain region so basically I will start by uh, we can change it to a green color and you're gonna have to click a couple times to make it work uh, we're not gonna trick this out too much and GIMP takes a little bit getting used to when I first got it I didn't know what to do but uh, now I've kinda mastered it I'm not gonna say I'm an expert but I've figured it out so basically what you're going to want to do is just customize it however you want and to show you guys a little bit more about it I will add on some stuff too so now we got the green blade there and it looks pretty cool and um, just to let you guys know for now I am making a texture pack of my own and so yeah that's pretty much it so here you go yeah you can add your own like 
extra parts onto it, which is really cool. I really like that. And you could there's pretty much endless possibilities. You can make this however you want. I can make it come down right here. So you have kind of like a handguard sort of thing. And you can also delete things if you go over here to this paintbrush, or not paintbrush, the eraser. I can erase all of this and it won't show up on it. So I'll erase this. And the one tool that's really going to help you out a lot is the paint dipper. Because then you could just automatically change it to that color. And the one thing that is really going to kill you about GIMP is this, um, the uh, overspray, I'm going to call it, because it does overspray if you're not exactly on that pixel. And that right there is going to hurt you because if there's any even, like, little bit of overhang, it's going to show up as black in your, um, when you actually put it into Minecraft. So we're going to edit this a little bit more and all right, so now we have our custom sword right here that we made. And I'm going to go ahead and take this pixel right out of the middle just to show you a little bit more about this. We're going to take a couple of these pixels out. There, now you have the sword. Now what you're going to want to do is you can go up to here to File. Oops, and you're going to go to Export. Our Expert. Our Export, Expert, Export is what it is. You're going to name it Items.png. Just save it right to your desktop. Export. You, everything's going to be set to default. I'm on a compression level all the way up to 9. You're going to save comment, color values, all this stuff right here. It's pretty much there for you. There, it saves. And then I'm just going to do that. You want to check, make sure it's there. And it is. And as you can tell, it looks really cool. And so what we're going to do now is you still have your custom folder open with the necessary bin files in there. So you're going to open up the GUI file and you're going to drag in the new items that you made. You're going to move and replace and basically the items that's now in this GUI is going to be that one. And you can change everything. You could delete them, you could do a lot with it. So now that we have that, we're going to go back into your custom folder and you're going to open up the minecraft.bin in your executable or you're going to go to the minecraft bin and you're going to open up this executable jar file for minecraft 1.2.5 and now all you're going to do is you're going to grab the GUI file from there pull it in add and replace it's going to replace it and then you test it out so I'm going to put the video on of me testing it out you can also do this with uh, um, with the blocks and stuff uh, there's other sites you could use, you could use paint.net, you could use uh, Photoshop. Uh, for like Photoshop, you can make a more HD because you make the pixels smaller. GIMP, it's only 256 by 256, but it's with the same ratios as Minecraft. So you can't make them as detailed as you want because they're still going to stay within this detail range. You're not going to be able to add many little pixels as you would for bigger stuff, which would be like... Misa's texture pack for example something like that so we're gonna go ahead and test this out and here we go alright hey guys we're gonna go test it out now we're opening a creative world and right here you can oh god alright let me sleep really quick I should have checked for this and we can see our iron sword right there all pimped out so let me get a bed and we'll make it light so that you guys can actually see what is happening instead of me telling you and you having to believe me so sleeping takes you know two seconds and it alright now it is daytime out as you can see here is the custom diamond sword I made and it still says diamond sword and here's all the custom diamond armor I made and stick and a diamond pickaxe as you can tell I stick diamond pickaxe look exactly the same I also made uh, the gold stuff different so what I will show you now is the custom iron sword that we worked on together and as I showed you before when I before I slept it was there so we'll have this and here we go there it is looking happy as ever now so it's not gonna be any different than the regular iron sword it's gonna break the same it's gonna be exactly the same and as you look at it it looks exactly the same and you can see there's a holes in it that we made from it and there was a little bit of transparency left I didn't notice but it did leave a little bit of transparency out of it but now the iron sword is a green hog 
and another thing I want you guys to know is you're going to have to make a backup file of your items or you're going to want to make a backup file of the entire bin so that if you want to restart you can or you can just delete your bin and update minecraft and that'll do the same thing so i hope this helped you guys in making your own texture pack my texture pack will be coming out soon once i finish it it'll probably be out within the month probably be up by july maybe even august depending on how i'm how much i work on it so look out for that and i hope this helped you guys make your own custom texture pack i will see you guys later